During the 2024 Paris Olympics, Team USA's men's basketball team found itself in a tense and challenging semi-final match against Serbia. Despite ultimately securing a victory, the game left many fans and analysts puzzled by some of the decisions made by head coach Steve Kerr, particularly his choice to limit the playing time of Boston Celtics star forward Jason Tatum. As the game unfolded, it became clear that several key players were struggling to find their rhythm. Despite this, Kerr chose to keep Tatum on the bench for most of the game, a move that baffled spectators and sparked widespread debate. Tatum, one of the NBA's brightest talents and a proven scorer, was expected to play a crucial role in leading Team USA to victory. However, his limited involvement raised questions about Kerr's strategy. In the post-game press conference, Kerr was asked directly why Tatum, who had been a standout performer in previous games, was not utilized more during the critical moments against Serbia. Kerr's response was somewhat measured but did little to quell the concerns of those who felt the decision was a misstep. It's not what I'm not seeing from Jason. It's what I've seen from the other guys, Kerr explained. He emphasized the difficulty of managing a roster full of talent, particularly in the high-pressure environment of the Olympics. Like I've said many times during this tournament and the last six weeks, it's just hard to play 11 people, even in an NBA game. Kerr's comments suggested that the decision to bench Tatum was not a reflection of the forward's performance but rather an effort to maintain a balance within the team's lineup. He pointed out that the second unit, which had been a significant factor in Team USA's success throughout the tournament, needed time to gel and operate as a cohesive unit. Our second unit was not great last night, but that group has been one of the bright spots on this team, especially on the defensive end, Kerr noted. However, this explanation did not sit well with everyone. Critics pointed out that other players, such as Devin Booker and Anthony Edwards, who received substantial minutes, had underwhelming performances with Booker contributing just 6 points and 1 assist in 24 minutes and Edwards managing only 2 points and 2 rebounds in 13 minutes. Meanwhile, Kevin Durant was the only member of the second unit who had a notable impact on the game, further fueling the argument that Tatum should have been given more playing time. The controversy surrounding Tatum's benching highlights a broader debate about Kerr's approach to managing Team USA, particularly in the context of international play. While Kerr defended his decisions by emphasizing team chemistry and defensive performance, many observers remain unconvinced that this was the best strategy for a team with such high expectations. The decision to bench a star player like Tatum in a crucial game is seen by some as a gamble that could have easily backfired. As Team USA moves forward in the tournament, the scrutiny on Kerr's decisions is likely to intensify. The narrow win against Serbia has raised questions about the team's ability to dominate on the international stage, and Kerr's handling of the roster will be closely watched in the remaining games. For Tatum, the situation is undoubtedly frustrating, as he remains eager to contribute to the team's success. Whether Kerr's strategy will ultimately pay off or lead to further complications remains to be seen, but the debate over Tatum's benching has added an unexpected layer of drama to Team USA's Olympic campaign.